So this is a problem we went over in class, but to repeat it here so you can review it, this is based on problem 8.24, uh, so chapter 8, problem 24. And in this problem, we're asked to find the equilibrium energy points for a potential energy function. We're given this function, u of x is equal to 2x to the fourth power minus x squared. You can answer this question by doing graphs, which is what your book uses for its approach. You can also answer this question using calculus, which is what I'll focus on here. Using calculus to solve this problem without a graphing calculator. So the first part, I'm going to ask, what are the equilibrium points? Where is this energy considered stable? To find the equilibrium points, you want to find where the energy isn't changing. This means that the slope of a energy versus x graph has to be zero. Then you're at equilibrium. To find this point, you can take the first derivative. The slope is just the derivative. Take that first derivative and set it equal to zero. So we're going to take the derivative using the power rule of u of x equals 2x to the fourth minus x squared. I take my 4, bring it down, multiply it by my 2, that gives me 8x, and then I have to take my 4 and subtract off 1, this is how the power rule works, 8x cubed. Do the same process with my x squared to get my derivative equal to 2x and I'm going to set this equal to zero. So when I do that, I'm solving for where the slope on this graph is zero, which means that I'm finding out where I have equilibrium points. I'm going to factor out an x, and that leaves me with x times 8x squared minus 2 equal to zero. I can take each part of this equation that I've used, that I've simplified to, I can set them both equal to zero, so I find right away x is equal to zero. If x is equal to zero, then this whole derivative is zero, and I have one equilibrium point. I also have 8x squared minus 2 is equal to zero, the second part of this equation that I've, I've gotten to for my derivative. So I can do some simple algebra, find 8x squared is equal to 2, solve for my x squared is equal to 2 over 8, which is equal to 1 over 4, and finally solve for my x, and that's going to be equal to the square root of 1 fourth, which is positive or negative 1 half. So this is three equilibrium points that I've gotten by setting my derivative equal to 0 x equals 0, x equals positive, and negative 1 half. The second type of question that I might ask is what type of equilibrium point you have. You have choices. You could have a stable equilibrium point. You could have unstable. Or you could have neutral. And there's a way that you can figure this out without having to make your graph. It's by taking the second derivative of a function. So we'll start back with our original uh, equation. We took our derivative, got 8x cubed minus 2x equal to 0, and found our three equilibrium points. x equals 0, x equals positive 1 half, and x equals negative 1 half. Now we want to know if these equilibrium points are stable, unstable, or neutral. To figure this out, you take the second derivative of the original function, which will be the derivative of the derivative. So I take another derivative here, and I, when I do that, I find my second derivative of u with respect to x is going to be equal to 24x squared minus 2. Now to find what type of equilibrium point I have, if it's stable, unstable or neutral, I simply plug my numbers in to the second derivative. 
So let's do that. Let's do that for x equals 0. I plug in a 0. So I do 24 times 0 squared minus 2. This gives me a negative 2. The negative right here tells me that I have an unstable equilibrium point. If you take the second derivative of your function, plug in your equilibrium point, and the result is negative, then your equilibrium point is unstable. Let's plug in 1 half. 24 times 1 half squared minus 2. So that's 24. 1 half squared is 1 fourth minus 2. 24 times 1 fourth is 6 minus 2, and that's going to give me 4. This is positive. A positive second derivative is a stable equilibrium point. And finally, let's look at negative 1 half, 24 times negative 1 half squared minus 2. That gives me 24. Negative 1 half squared is 1 fourth minus 2. 24 times 1 fourth is 6 minus 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. This is a positive number, so I have a stable equilibrium point. So what I did here to figure out if my equilibrium points are stable, unstable, or neutral, I take the second derivative of my original energy function. I plug in all my equilibrium points. Plug in x equals 0. See if it's positive or negative. If it's negative, then I'm unstable. If I'm positive, then I'm stable. Which begs the question, how do I know if I'm neutral? This occurs when your second derivative, dx squared, is equal to 0. Now, if we want to draw our function, our u of x, this is approximately what it looks like. And we can see that the places where I have a zero slope are my equilibrium points. These equilibrium points, which we just solved for, are at zero and positive one half and negative one half. My slope at these points is zero, so I have equilibrium points. What type of equilibrium points are they? My zero point was an unstable equilibrium. The way that I like to think about this is I imagine if I stuck a little ball on this graph, on this shape, and I push this ball just a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, then that ball is going to go rolling down, and it's not going to come back to the place that it started from. Conversely, my positive one-half and negative one-half, these are stable points. I can put a little ball inside of these points, at these positions. If I roll the ball a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left, it's going to be sent back to the equilibrium point. That equilibrium point is stable. The ball wants to stay there. So hopefully this clarifies how to do these kinds of equilibrium point problems uh, without having a graphing calculator or being able to draw a graph.